What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So today I've set myself up for a challenge. It is the roulette lure challenge. So I've added 10 lures to this board and I wanna see how far through I can get. So before we get started, a few rules is a fish is a fish. So even if it's undersized, it still counts and I move on to the next lure. I'm going to be adding an hour to every lure. So if I don't catch a fish within that hour, I move on to the next lure and I fail. And I can only go back to that lure if it comes up on the board. So without any further ado guys, let's get into the video and let's see what comes up first. All right. Here it goes. Looks like we've got a two and a half inch grub. And what I've done is I've packed my bag full of different colors for each lure that's on the board. So then I can just come out here and see what I think is going to work best. And I'm thinking the good old motor oil grub from Z-Man is going to be the best option for today. All right, so it's pretty shallow in here. So I've chosen a 120th jig head and it's a hidden weight jig head as well. I'm hoping as I go through all of the lures, I can talk you through how I'm using it and uh, what I'm looking for when using this lure. All right, first lure is tied on. Let's get a few casts in, see if we can tick this off straight away, and let's get this timer started. Thinking structure is gonna be the best, best thing, but I do know there's a lot of oysters up a little bit further, which I wouldn't mind casting around. It's a bit snaggy, but I always have more luck around the rocks. There is oyster racks all through here as well, but again, I don't really like to cast in there. So I'm just gonna move up little bit further I know there's a bit of a sand slash weedy patch coming up and then just after that is where all the, the oysters are and everything like that we just had a boil off to my right as well so I think here is as good as any let's see how we go so with the grub I like to obviously cast it out as far as I can and let that tail do all the work let it slowly sink down to the bottom and then once it's there I like to give it a couple of quick pops off the bottom and then let it sink back down. And I'll just repeat that back towards the kayak. See, it's seven o'clock right now and it's already really hot. So I'm in for a really hot day, but I'm pretty excited to get into this challenge. So I do have a whole heap of lures that you guys have seen a fair bit on the channel that I'm pretty confident with, but I also have one or two that I'm not real confident with and there is a lure in there that I haven't used yet. So that one's gonna be interesting when that one comes up. Hopefully we can get through quite a few. I already had a couple of casts and I'm not catching anything just yet. We are sitting 13 minutes into this challenge and not looking too good so far. That wind has started to pick up and I've gone with a heavier jig head and the Daiwa Bait Junkie grubs as well in bloodworm color. So the jig head is a 1 16th and that's just to help with the casting and getting that lure down to the bottom a bit quicker with this wind. So I wasn't expecting the wind to come over as quick. Hopefully this will change it. We're, we're at that 33 minute mark, with nothing on the grub. I went with the, the Daiwa Bait Junkie and bloodworm because it's a sandy bottom I just think that contrast will make that lure stand out a little bit more. And I believe the bait junkies, they come with a bit of scent in them already. Oh, and we've snagged. I thought we were on just then. So for the last 10 minutes, I'm gonna be trying out this watermelon red Z-Man grub. Hopefully it's changing their luck. Getting a whole heap of hits on the bait junkie, but they were only small, nothing taking it. Oh yes, we are finally on. And I'm gonna say flatty the way this one is holding to that bottom. Don't go into there. Yeah, that's a nice flatty. We have finally caught a fish on the seamen grab. I'm pretty sure we are very close to the hour mark. Just need to get him in the net. Yes, 
There we go, there is the first fish on the first lure roulette challenge. There is that first flatty, guys, with that Z-Man grub. That is the first lure ticked off. Let's get him back in the water, find out what our next lure is going to be. All right, so we cut that very fine, 58 minutes, and we got him back in the water. Let's reset this and find out what our next lure is going to be. All right, let's get this spinning. What are we going for this time? Oh, you're joking. I've gone from a hard lure where I was struggling to the clone prawn, and I have never used this lure before. This is going to be interesting. That is a clone prawn for anyone who hasn't seen it before. Oh, I don't even know how to rig it. All right, so I've just finished rigging up this clone prawn. So I have rigged it through the front. A lot of people actually like to rig it through the back because prawns do swim backwards, but I thought I may as well tie it on this way and give this a, give this a shot. Like I said, this is the first time using this. I only just bought it the other day, so this is gonna be an interesting one. I'm not scared of the challenge. Let's give it a good crack. And uh, before I forget, let's get this stopwatch going and get this lure out there. Being a prawn, I'm thinking some quick pops off the bottom. They call it a clone prawn and it definitely does look exactly like a prawn. So I'm gonna keep focusing along all these trees and there's also a little bit of a drop off just out past them as well. Ended up getting the flatty on that drop off. Had a quite a few casts in amongst all the trees and got nothing in there. Like I said, that flatty, he came just where it comes from about half a meter down to about a meter and a half. Oh yes, we are on. Ah <laughs> yes. I'm gonna tick this clone prawn off. That is gonna be good. What have we got? Little flatty. Come over here so I can get rid of this lure. Yes, he is in the net and he just spat the hook. Oh yes. There we go. What time do we have? We have 18 minutes it took. That is awesome. There is the second fish, right on that 18 minute mark with the clone prawn. We've ticked another one off guys. Let's move on to the next one now. Off you go buddy. Let's find out what our next lure is. Hoping like a, oh, a creature bait. Oh, it's giving me all the hard ones to start off with. All right, that is it right there guys. That is the risky critter. Lure number three of the challenge. So with this, it's gonna be very similar to how I've been all morning. And there's a bit of a rocky oyster formation up ahead, which I've been talking about most of the morning. I'm gonna go cast around it. There's also be a really good lure in amongst all these trees here. So I'm gonna head over the rocks first and try there, because that's where we just got that flatty. And the color that we've chosen is the camo UV. I reckon that's a pretty solid color. Before I forget, Let's start this timer and we're good to go. One trick with this lure that I completely forgot about is breaking off these nippers. So they come joined together like so. So you can just pull them apart or cut them with your scissors. And now those legs will swim around a lot better. So with this lure, I'm just casting it out as far as I can. It's a bit difficult with this wind, but then I'm just letting it slowly sink down and maybe sit there for a, a few seconds. And then I give it a couple of twitches, bounce it off that bottom and start slowly winding it back to the kayak. I'm letting the claws and the feet do all the work for me. Oh, and I'm snagged. Oh, there's a couple of hits. Oh, yeah. And we are on. And he's feeling like a pretty good brim. I'm just gonna keep my rod tip up high so he doesn't get snagged on all these oysters. He's feeling pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a run. What a run. Oh, it's 2.30. 
turn his kayak around and chase him down a little bit. Oh, he's right underneath the kayak. He's got to be on those snags now, right? Where are you? I have not seen it yet. I'll tell you what, he is just a foul hooked brim. He put up a pretty good fight. For something foul hooked like that. There we go. So there's the first brim of the morning on that creature bait. Fish number three, lure number three, complete. Off you go. Hoping like a chubby or something like that. That would be great. All right, a flick bait. I'm happy with that. There is that hurricane sprat, lure number four of the challenge. Ready to go, ready to catch a fish. All right, let's get this timer started. Three set, start, and let's get this lure out there. So very similar to the risky critter. I'm just gonna cast it out over all these oysters, all these rocks, and just slowly bring it back. Give it a few flicks, keep it off all the rocks, off all the oysters, and bring it back towards the kayak. All right, I think I might chuck some scent on now. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, maybe not, but that's another fish. It's feeling like a small brim. As soon as I put that scent on, guys, should have done it a lot earlier. Up you come, mate, and get it in the net. And that is number four done. All right, what do we got? We have eight minutes. Eight minutes it took us to catch this fish. But there's that hurricane sprat right in his mouth. Get it out. Here we go. There's another fish, guys. Off you go. Time to see what our next lure is. Ooh, a paddle tail. So this could be a slim swim or a bait junkie minnow. All right, so I've chosen the Z-Man Slim Swim in motor oil, and I put a 1 16th jig head on. So I usually like to use a 116 for a 112. I'm gonna go back over to these rocks and cast over the top again. So very similar to the Hurricane Sprat. Again, I'm just gonna cast it out. I went with the motor oil color because it is very similar to that Hurricane Sprat that I was using. And we're, oh, we were just on. Let's get that back out in there. Oh, whoa, we are on. He is feeling pretty good too. Yes, there we go. This is lure number five done, if we can get him in the net. He's not fighting as hard anymore, which is good. Don't go to the, towards the snags, mate. Come on, up you come. Just another little brim. He's crazy. There we go, in the net. That is lure number five done. Five minutes, and we'll go 41 seconds. There we go. That's probably the quickest of the day. And there it is, guys. That is lure number five. Paddle tail, complete. Let's see what the next lure is. What's it gonna be this time? A jerk bait. All right, oh, I get to use the Miller rod. I think I might be using the Daiwa double clutch here. All right, so with the Daiwa double clutch, what I'm gonna do is, like all the other lures, cast out really far. And then I give it two quick jerks. Get that lure straight down in the water column and then slowly retrieve it back. And every now and then, give it a couple of jerks again. Make sure I'm pausing it after each jerk. Oh yes, oh, we were just on. That would have been the quickest of the day. Oh man, I think he was a flatty. 
try this again. So I'm going to keep casting it right up onto the edge, slowly bringing it back. Should be a few flatties hiding in there. So that wind is getting too much out here now, guys. I'm going to head around the side here, get into a bit of cover. Just had a massive wind knot. Had to quickly fix that. I did pause the time. So we are sitting at 26 minutes and I'm going to resume it right now. Try to get out of this wind. It is pretty hectic. There we go. There we go. Oh, does, does that count? I dropped him right at the kayak. Oh, that looked like a pike. He was very small. Didn't get him in the net, he does not count. Oh, that's annoying. Is this a fish? This is a fish. He's going straight into those trees. What have we got? Let's pull him out. Hopefully I don't lose this one. Oh, does he have, have me wrapped around something? Is there a, what is this? I think he has me wrapped around something. No. No, he can't, the line's moving. What have we got? It's not coming off the bottom. It is a solid flatty. And I think he's foul hooked as well. Oh no. No, don't go back in there. <laughs> oh, this is a solid flatty, guys. Very solid flatty. This is gonna be hard to get him in. I'm only on four pound leader. Oh, come on. Please come up. He does not want to come up to the surface just yet. I'm playing this very, very careful. <laughs> oh, this, this is a worry. This is going to be hard work. Come on. Might use the kayak to my advantage and chase him down. Oh, although he's coming back. Come on. Oh uh, yeah, he's a solid flatty. He's gonna be up in the 50s. <laughs> he just comes up and he has a look and then he just swims off. Oh no, uh -oh. oh. The line just hit my drive. I hope I didn't damage it. He does not wanna come up. Please just come up. This is gonna be a long fight. I might not even get him in before the timer runs out. What are we sitting at? 46 minutes. All right, he's coming to the surface now. Oh no, don't go back down. There he comes. Oh, he saw the net and took off again. Oh. All that line, I just got back on him. He's just taken on me again. Don't know whether to tighten up the drag just that little bit more. Oh, there he is. He's pretty tired now. He's pretty tired. Come here, mate. There we go. Yes. <laughs> that is lure number six with a solid flatty. I think we can say that is a 60 one centimeter flatty that is a solid flatty guys a great way to tick off that lure look at that guys that was on that die with double clutch lure number six ticked off guys what a way to do it too Let's see what 
lure number seven is going to be. Hard body crank. Righto. This is the one I'm going to use. So this is a jackal chubby. I cannot remember the colour. But she looks absolutely amazing. I was using it a couple of days ago. And the broom absolutely loved it. It's got a few teeth marks on it already. Alright, it is tied on. It is ready to go. So it has a bit of a rattle. And this lure is so easy to use. All I'm going to do is just cast it up into these trees and slow wind it back. Very, very simple. It is pretty shallow through here, sitting about a metre and a half. I like it to be a, a bit more shallower, but we're straight on. And this is feeling like a flatty. That is first cast. I didn't even start the, the timer, guys. So as long as we can get this fish in, it's going to be one of the quickest lures of this challenge. I'm going to say another flatty. Yeah, it is. It's not as big as the last one. I think it'll be just legal. Yeah, just legal, I'd say. Let's get him in. I don't want to lose this lure because I am absolutely loving it. That is lure number seven ticked off on the very first cast of using it. That is the quickest of the day. All right, there is fish number seven on lure number seven. Let's get it back in the water and see what our eighth lure is going to be. So lure number eight, what are we going to be using? A gulp shrimp, eh? Righto. Righto, there is that plastic straight on there. Still with that 1 16th jig head that we've been using today. And get straight back into those trees. All right, the timer has started. So with the gulp shrimp, I like to cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then give it a whole heap of hops off that bottom while winding it in. Normally I find after all those hops, that's when it gets hit. So I usually just pause it for a little bit after a couple of hops and just keep an eye on that line and see what it's doing. So I've got nothing on that first cast. All right, let's get one right up in there. Getting the hits again. Just take it. Oh, he must be small. He's just nipping out the tail or something like that. I'm gonna cast it in where I caught that flatty. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's tighten this up. He went straight in for that tree just then. It's not a lot of weight to it, but that run was pretty good. Wondering if I had my drag a little bit too loose. But we will take it. This is lure number eight, isn't it? I'm starting to lose count. Need to get him in first. That is a nice brim. When I casted it into those trees, I actually felt a quick hit as that lure was dropping. But he's not a bad looking, looking brim. Let's get him up now. I think he might be the biggest brim of the day. There we go. Yeah, that's the biggest brim of the day. And that is lure number eight done. Oh yeah, check the time. We are sitting at five minutes and 20 seconds for that gulp shrimp. It's starting to come a lot quicker now. That lure is right in his mouth. Fish are starting to get a little bit of size to him now. That is fish number eight on lure number eight. All right, I wonder what we have left. Daiwa spike and a Holt swim prawn. All right, oh, let's see which one we get. The Daiwa spike. So the Holt Swim Prawn will be the very last one. All right, let's get these brand new Daiwa spikes under the Miller Rod. All right, so here is that Daiwa spike in Suji Berry color. So it dives down to that 1.2 to 1.8 meters, which is gonna be 
absolutely perfect around here. And let's get this timer started. Go reset and start. Now let's get this out of here. That wind's starting to change direction. It's starting to hit me around here. Hoping I'm going to be in cover for a little bit longer. But with this lure, it is very simple to use. It is just cast it out and slow retrieval back towards the kayak. Just a slow wind. That's all you need to do. You want it to be bouncing off that bottom. You make it a whole heap of noise in there. And that's when the fish is just going to come up and grab it. This colour looks absolutely amazing. So I was using it the other day and I caught two fish in three casts. And then on the fourth cast, ended up losing it. And I was absolutely upset. So hopefully I don't lose it today. We're a few casts in and we're not getting anything just yet. I haven't had any hits. It's looking like a really good spot up ahead. I can see some sand flats and stuff where this lure is going to work the best. I keep casting around here though. Oh no, I'm snagged. I do not want to lose this lure. Just lost that lure again. That was a solid snag. I tried everything to get it out. All right, after losing that lure, I've just tied on the sand crab. Get back in here and hopefully we don't lose this lure. Oh, I thought we were on. We got hit right at the kayak just then. Yes, yes. We got a flatty, a lot of head shakes. Come on, come up. Yes, there he is, he's only small. But he's in the net. And that is number nine done. 29 minutes that took. There's that flatty guys, he isn't too big. I'm just gonna let him go straight out of the net. Don't have to deal with getting spiked. All right, there it is guys. Not my straightest rig up, but I still think we'll get some fish. I am gonna chuck a whole heap of scent on it. The scent I've been using is the gulp gel. Seems to work really well. So it took me a while to learn how to use this lure. And eventually I found you can use it similar to a slim swim. So I was letting it float down to the bottom. And I was usually just giving it a few twitches once it got to the bottom. So it should be a good lure to finish this on. Oh yeah, I just had hit straight away right in the trees thought we had the lure finished oh and we just got hit again pretty keen to get a fish on this lure normally I'm not out here this long been on the water since I think seven o'clock it is now 12 but another technique that I like to use with this lure is similar to the the grub where I just twitch it off the bottom so I like to cast it out let it sink down to the bottom once it's there, just go twitch, twitch, and then wind in the slack. And twitch, twitch, wind in the slack. Yes, yes, we're on, we're on. Please don't lose it. I've just gone over to the other island. Oh, wow, what a run. What have we got? I'm gonna chase it down. I do not wanna lose it. It's really windy over here, but I was hoping to get onto some fish and it looks like I've just found one. I know he's gone back in. What are you doing to me? Get back here. You're my last fish for the challenge. Get back here, there's snags in there. Don't go in there. It's making me go around in circles. It's just a little brim. But if I can get him up, the challenge is done. 
He's not too big. Come on. Yes. <laughs> the challenge is done. And what a way to finish it. This is actually a pretty good brim. I'm gonna go find somewhere out of the wind and show you guys the fish. Just made it out of the wind. And there is that brim with that Holt Swim Prawn. Ah, oh, yes. Let's get this lure out. And to finish the day, we managed to get a 31 centimeter brim. I'm extremely happy we finished the, the challenge. And what a way to finish it on this nice brim here. He's been out of the water for a while, so let's get it back in now. All right guys, I have completed the challenge. I've caught a fish on all 10 lures. It's been a great day in the water. I've really enjoyed this. The Z-Man grub had me really worried right at the start and so did that Holt Swim Prawn. But we come through at the end. It's been a great day guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment sections below if you want to see some more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.